Solo, a Star Wars story, is directed by Ron Howard and stalls Alden Ehrenreich. Or I'm Ehrenreich. Hope, Ehrenreich. Yeah. Ehrenreich, yes, yeah. that's it. And also stars Amelia Clark, Woody Harrelson, and so on. And also uh, Donald, Danny, Donald, Donald Glover. Donald Glover yeah. yeah. And this is the origin story of, the, the, the the as we know, Han Solo, as you can see right here, the original, played by Harrison Ford from the original Star Wars trilogy, or from the Star Wars movies, excuse me. And this deals with the origin story of Han Solo when he was a young smuggler who actually started out working for a crime syndicate with uh, this girl that he met, um, that he knew when growing up, I guess. Mm. And they get into some stuff where he ends up having to come back and, and basically some stuff goes down and then years a few years later he has to end up going back to look for her while at the same time he comes across uh, Woody Harrelson's character and they ba it basically becomes sort of a heist. heist. It's a it, it's a western sci-fi heist. Film. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if you take like Ocean's 11 mix it in with like Cowboy Bebop with a little bit of uh, also, Magnificent Seven. Seven, yeah. yeah. If you're, that's basically how it boils down to. Yeah. Now, here's some backstory. Now, this is of course another entry in the Star Wars franchise, and this is now the second spinoff of the anthology f series they're doing of Star Wars. Now, where they're doing the uh, us, the anthology story films. The yeah. first one we had was Rogue One, a Star Wars story that came out a couple years ago. Now, this is the second time. Mm -hmm. That we've got, we're we're getting spin-offs that are focusing on yeah. different characters. We're supposed to be getting this. We got uh, the uh, this Obi -Wan. Is supposed to be a, this is supposed to be a uh, trilogy right here. This right here is going to be its own trilogy, but we're, in the future we're, yeah, we're, we're supposed, supposed to, to be getting Obi Wan. Uh, I believe Boba, Boba Fett, Fett was just announced. So and supposedly uh, another one. They're now talking about Yoda. Yeah, supposedly. Yeah. Um, but the ones that are confirmed are definitely now Obi Wan and Boba Fett. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, this one uh, originally started out being directed by Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, who, if you remember, were the guys that did the 21 Jump Street films. Uh, I believe they did the first and second one. Yeah. And uh, they also worked on the Lego movie. And so these guys that were originally trying to do the film, they at least had a vision because their plan was to basically make it, I guess, a, a straight fun Star Wars film, I'm thinking. And some stuff went down a couple years ago, and because, and then they eventually got they due to creative differences, they got fired. Yeah. I, I think they either got fired or, or, or quit, whichever one. And then Ron Howard was basically brought in to reshoot after ninety percent of it was done. Yeah. And so after that happened, yeah, um, there was that big thing. That was probably the most talked about thing when this movie was coming out, being made, being announced as being made. Was this guy could not act? Um, I'm not really familiar with any films he's you done other than Hell Caesar, and I thought that movie. I can't really just go on him. That movie overall was just yeah, it was, yeah, it was just there yeah. uh, film. But I don't know much about the guy. Apparently, he couldn't act worth a fuck, but didn't want to fire him because he does. He did have the charisma and the the voice and the look. Of a young Harrison Ford, yeah. So to so send him to acting school, yeah. And basically, that held the whole film up. Yeah, just that. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, and I think it was worth it because yeah. th my biggest thing going into this, this was actually the first uh, Star Wars film in probably a while that I was actually not really looking forward to. to yeah, be honest. honest with uh, you, this one was like beyond. I, I, this one was not only. The promotions was like really weak. It was compared bland. to other was, other Star Wars films. This one was just like, just like it felt like a boom. We're just making a movie yeah. trailer. I'm and, like, and, okay, this and, feels and, weird for Star know, Wars. Well, not just that, but also to me, well, two things that I I didn't really was looking forward to this one because Han Solo to me is a character that I feel doesn't need a backstory. No. I feel like it's a story that doesn't need to be told. Yeah, it's like they made it okay. Was it needed? No. 
But also my second thing going into it was the marketing behind this was very late. Unlike yeah. other Star Wars films we've had, this the marketing for this came out really late in the year. Oh, beyond late. Like I'm I think it was about... what January. Like I, I believe it was at like Super Bowl. They finally no. It was no, actually it I was think even a few later. Months. Yeah, that. it was actually later than that, and they finally. We're, got the we're talking about two months before release, and that is unheard of on Star Wars. Yeah, to do that, and. It's not just that. It's the marketing was weak. It felt like a... Oh, we're just making a standard movie. Here you go. But they don't realize this is a Star Wars film, Ron Howard. What the fuck, you know? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and not only that, when, when they do release the trailer and we saw it... Yeah, that trailer was like the most unconvincing, ungrabbing trailer I saw. I was like, uh, I'm not really feeling it. Yeah, it was... And not, I mean, don't yeah. get me wrong. I, I like Ron Howard as a director. I've seen some of his films in the past. I've seen Willow. Yeah. I've also seen, uh, I've seen bits and pieces of Paul 13 and all that. But yeah. the guy is a very yeah, great he's got filmmaker. great. He's got a great filmography. And, and that yeah. last one he did a few years ago, Even the Heart of the Sea. So the guy yeah. is a good filmmaker, but I just really feel like the film, the trailers alone were, ru were really giving me a kind of a weird vibe. Like and I wasn't really as sold on it. As much as I love Ron Howard, I just don't feel like he was the best suit for. Well, Star Wars. I can't really. Well, coming out of the. Film, I mean, other directors I could think of. Well, I, like, I can't really judge the guys who actually did the film because you got to remember yeah. the film was already pretty much shot. Yeah. It's just that they had like about ten percent left, so I'm actually curious yeah. what the other guys had in mind when I they did the film. I can see why they went Ron Howard because Willow was a fucking phenomenal film. And that was also pretty yes. <laughs> ironic, funny because that was actually produced by Lucas Films as well. Yeah, I know it was a Lucas film and you know, I I get why but I just I was kind of worried a little bit. Yeah. But coming out of the film, I can honestly say that while I wasn't certainly looking forward to it, it was slightly better than I thought it was going to be. It was slightly I, better than it was of uh, that I thought it was going to be, but it it still is flawed. Yeah. It's heavily flawed. But to get to, but to get some of our pros out of the way, I'll say that uh, Alden, who played Han Solo, he did a phenomenal job. Yes. I was really worried going into it thinking that, well, this dude's got a big yes. fucking shoes to and fill. And the fact that they said they had to constantly reshoot him because he was so bad. Yeah. And he's filling fucking Harrison Ford, for crying out loud. Yeah. But I will say... That he was one of the strongest points of the movie. I actually loved him and do, uh, and Chewie's uh, chemistry. Yeah. I thought, I thought he nailed it. I thought he did. Uh, I thought he I got to give the guy credit. Uh, I, I like him. I want to see more what he could do because they're turning this into apparently trilogy. Yeah, uh, that's an iffy because I just got a notification on my phone on the way home. This movie only made twenty five million. On its opening weekend. Now that that's is the, a pretty fucking week for Star yeah, Wars, now, man. I'm sure that the film, because it's Star Wars, it's mm -hmm. I'm sure it's gonna get, you know, it's gonna a, be a it's slow gonna be, build. It's gonna be a probably a sleeper hit most likely. Yep. It's probably not gonna be as big of a hit as like some of the other ones have. But I think it's still. I don't think it's gonna. It's definitely not gonna bomb. Yeah. I don't think it's not gonna bomb. But like I said, Alden, Alden, whatever, how do you pronounce his name? He was great. I I can't wait to see what. More he could bring to the table. I thought he did really good. I love Danny Glover as Lando. Donald Glover. Donald, yeah. yeah. Danny Donald, Donald Glover. Uh, Donald, 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 Donald Glover, Glover was yeah. actually actually I was from the get go. I always thought he was a good choice to play Lando because yeah. Lando, Lando to me was yeah. always one of those characters from the original trilogy that I always wanted to see more of. And even though we don't have him in the newer films, the, the sequel trilogy, yeah. it's good that we're still getting to see him as a young version. And, and Donald really pulled it off. He yes. carried the the charm, the wit, the very funny moments, and you know the very you know genuine vibe that Billy D. Williams had in the original films. And what surprised me about Donald Glover, or yeah, uh, playing this role and Lando being in this film. Is everybody like I kept hearing said he stole the show? He stole the show. I don't see how he did because he really wasn't in the movie that much. Yeah, he comes in kind of <laughs> later on, in the film, but he's, when he's on screen, yeah, he is definitely he a is blast. great. Don't get me wrong, but the guy only had like a total like like five minutes. Like, yeah, I'd say about maybe. ten, maybe, maybe fifteen. I don't know, about man. Ten, I'd say about ten minutes. There was a I, ten is is get going a little 
two up there, but I could say maybe eight to ten. Okay, yeah. He didn't have any more than that. I can guarantee that. But he was he was not in the film as much as I thought. Of. I, I was told he was. And I'm like, he wasn't much in this film. I mean, yeah. But he was great. He was awesome. Chewy, the, the the performances I have no issue with whatsoever. Everybody nailed their yeah, part. Yeah, even Amelia Clark, who, I mean, if you remember her from Game of Thrones, and she mm -hmm. was also in Terminator, but she, she she actually, you know, was good on her part. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll get to our cons later because we have some issues as far as writing, but I, I still think that sh her performance is good. Yeah. And, and it was also good seeing Harrelson, or I'm sorry, Woody Harrelson as well in this film. Too. And he carried the co comedic part very well. Yeah, I loved his du like duel with Chewie, and I loved Hans and Chewie. Yeah. Like Hans, all right. No offense, I love Lando. I enjoyed him. But I really, personally, I think Woody, Chewie, and Hans stole the role. Yeah, I, I still give a lot to, with, with yeah. Lando, I, but I will say as far as the funniest parts... The well, fun parts, the, overall. Well, the I overall, I, I will say, are the parts of Han and Chewie. But yeah. when, whenever Lando was on screen, I always, you know, was, yeah. was, was doing a Han lot of Han and smiling. Chewie was the best. Yeah. But Woody did carry a lot with Chewie, which I enjoyed. Yeah. So, but also, them three are my top. Uh, top yeah. My, uh, the um, another good thing I, I will appreciate, too, was the film does give us some of the that really fun vibe that we, you know, we expect in these kind of Star Wars films. You get really good action scenes with the Millennium Falcon, like you see in the trailers. Yep. Uh, and there is a funny story behind that, how they find it and everything, which I enjoy. Yeah. Um, and I also like how Han actually meets Chewbacca in this film. We won't spoil that. That's in our spoiler discussion. Yeah. But when he first meets him, that actually was really cool. It was it was cool. I also um um I like the uh, this is a give or take discussion right here. I do like that they kind of wanted to change it up a little bit, something different from Star Wars, and that's a good thing. I like the Western thing they have going, the tone. It's a Western feel to the film. Yeah, but at the same time. It does very. It does make the this film stick out from any Star Wars film because it, it is far from a Star Wars film. Yeah, look to it. it, it you can tell that the film does seem like on the. On I the, think they kind of stretched a little too far from Star Wars. If they could have maybe kept a little bit more basic Star Wars, because with these films, it's good to have change. But you want to have your basics in there because it is part of a franchise. Yeah, and they do have some Star Warsy stuff in this, but overall, they real they I think they over minored it a little bit too much. Yeah, to where it feels like it's almost completely not a Star Wars film. Yeah, and that was I'll get that's uh, I'll say it early on. It's kind of my little con. That's just a minor nitpick, but overall, I do like that they changed it up to give us a different take. Yeah, I mean, that's one yeah. of the things I also appreciate, too. I love the Space Western theme they're going mm -hmm. for, that mm -hmm. that they decided to do. Um, I also enjoy a lot of the like, smaller references, that, you, that callbacks that you would later see in like Empire and Return of the Jedi that come into play. Yes. And there's a good twist in like the end surprising cameo that comes in which is going to lead into the other films yeah which i liked i i really enjoyed that that was good um i also enjoyed the the, the music the music of yeah. course you're going to hear some callbacks to some classic tunes that john williams pr uh, provided in the, some of the older yeah. films that are similar situations so it's it seems like they're doing a lot of like callbacks in parts of the film like star warsy like you were saying mm -hmm. but throughout the mo most of it it kind of feels like a different film it does. It feels like a completely um, different film. And then the overall. visuals, of course, you know, still yeah. pretty good. Especially yeah. uh, some of the practicals they use, like with the when they go to that one planet with the uh, like all the like that one robot they have that mm -hmm. goes along with them yeah. and all that. And you know the 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 you know it just the overall effects like when they're going through the hyper drive or the hyper yeah. space and when they're they're going through that that kessel run like you see in the trailers yeah. you know it's it's just the the effects are always going to be great for for these current movies now for my con to start off my cons um it's weird uh that this film has such a colorful poster with the orange this movie was dark as shit yeah it was really like willow if you guys yeah. seen willow 
Ron Howard likes to do those type films where it's all gray, rainy, like just dull and black and gray bleak. and bleak. But the trail, the posters have it really orangey looking. Yeah, it seems it's like, like a mismarket. The color palette yeah. really feels weird because, like, you can tell that the original directors they had in mind, they were probably mm. going for that colorful approach that you were that we kind of see in the posters. Yeah. Because Ron Howard, he did this the same thing with that movie a couple a few years ago called In the Harley Sea, where it was very like bleak looking and all that. Yeah. It, it's that's it's kind of how basically how Clint Eastwood shoots his movies with that little, that gray and white look that he uses. Yeah. And um, another one of my cons. <sighs> I really had a problem understanding who the what the villain was. It lacks any kind of explanation of the crimson they're called in this film. Yeah, the crimson. I just don't. There was no freaking screen time with this villain. This is like a very undershot villain film. This is really a, a film without a villain, and then you kind of introduce a villain for like a minute in the. Kind of in the middle, and at the end, you get like your four minutes of battle. It's like, who the fuck was really the villain? Yeah, it, it, which it was. I'm not gonna say because that would be a spoiler. But anyways, yeah, yeah, we we don't want to spoil who it yeah. was, but basically, yeah, I did have a problem with that too because it seems like you know all these Star Wars films, even the spinoffs, do at least have a, a prominent villain. Cable they said now early in the film they do kind of set up sort of a villain, <coughs> but throughout most of it, you don't really spend much time with this character to the point that you really don't even know who they are. And since we're on the subject of the villain. I did kind of find that whenever you do kind of like see where they're going with the the, the guy that you can kind of pretty much predictability. Yeah, it is very predictable because I actually <laughs> called that. I, yeah, I did. I too. was like, okay, that was just so fucking easy. Not to mention when they actually have to fight the guy. That was quick as shit. It was. That was the most anticlimactic I've oh seen in a Star damn, Wars film. Oh my god, damn, that was fucking quick. I, I, now, I, I, the, the, the vibe is that I get what they were trying to go for, but it, to me, it was just so short-lived. I was like, what was even the point? This was a very short-lived film for Star Wars. We spent a lot of times, and here's another con I'm going to mention. That first half, I was getting bored. Yeah, I will say I there were some pacing issues for me. Now, the I first half, bored, like, man. when it spins with Han actually going through, like, some stuff, actually trying to yeah. earn himself, I will say I was getting into it, but when it takes a break throughout some of it, it was giving me callbacks a little bit to uh, Attack of the Clones with the pacing-wise. Yeah, where it was kind of getting like, okay, get to the point, please, yeah. and get over with well, one of my other biggest cons I have too is that while the Cut film, yeah. while the film does have some good moments that kind of add with to Han and Solo as a character, honestly, a lot of the stuff that we pretty much already know about him is pretty much in this film altogether. We really yeah. didn't really learn nothing new yeah. that much, so to speak. So that's why I felt like this film didn't really add much to Star Wars. Oh, and here's here's the one we were we brought up earlier when we were talking about our pros. Like we said, the performances were great in this film by the actors. There was no like a lot of introductory of these people we have no history yeah. on. There is no like the writing on the characters of new characters just like you have care, yeah. That's what I was, I was like, getting God to, yeah. and that's why I get why people hate Emilia Clark in this. It's not her performance, so you can't bash her performance in this. She did good. It, it's just like, what was even the point of like? Yeah, because a lot of these the, people because the movie already sets up that her and Han pretty much have a thing going on, but yeah. it's never really fully developed. It's weird a because of, like it's, you have that thing where, like you said, they're going to get like they had a thing going on at the beginning of the film, and then like years pass and she's in this film later on, and it's like you know supposedly hit you know years pass and it's like. Feels like it's we, like okay, you guys like just moved on, whatever. Yeah, I don't just, get what it, the it doesn't, fuck. Yeah, the, the, it, not just yeah. that, but I feel like the way the film is going, we do lo f see a development with Han Solo himself, but it almost feels like the rest of the characters really didn't really have much of a purpose. It just felt like there's 
like just throwing characters like you know like even the and the androids in this film it just felt like they were just throwing the like fucking things even though they were cool the androids were like pretty funny it's just like they were just throwing so much and now i remember what i was going to complain about i felt like they were going so fast at the beginning of the film i was having a hard time comprehending when i was watching i was like I'm like, you guys are moving so fucking fast. Slow yeah. the hell down at first, man. Yeah, I was having a little bit of that issue. Was, but I, I also, it was one of those mind, films we also got distracted yeah, as well. Well, we got but. distracted, but I even, I, like, I tried to focus, and when I did, I still had a hard time understanding because the film was like one of those films that actually goes a little too fast at the beginning. Trying to just go, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah. slow the fuck down. It's too fucking fast right now. Yeah. So, other than that, man, we'll go in more detail in our spoilers, but um, it's good, and I would own it, but to me, I felt like it was average to, you know, it's just like, it's a good Star Wars, uh, it's actually just like, there. Yeah. Hey, it, it was just a Star Wars film, cool. To me, it's my... I was, I did, it did drop for me a little bit on the rating, so mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, Average Joe out of the Film Freaks meter. That's that fair which enough. C. Yeah, I've, I was going to say the same thing. I'm going to give this also an average Joe on the Film Freaks meter yep. as well. I, I did prefer Rogue One over this one. I will yep. say that I don't know how this would rank compared to The Phantom Menace or Attack of the Clones, but it, it probably falls somewhere at least slightly above probably one of those. The, the, but it, I, I'd have to really look yeah. at my list. It, but it, it, I think personally it would jump those two, the first two of the uh, prequels. But other than that, I think that's like my third lowest. Yeah, but yeah, that's probably yeah. how I would see it. Yeah. But for those of you who have also seen Han uh, Solo, a Star Wars story, and the other Star Wars films as well, let us know in the comments below what you guys thought about it. And if you like what we see here, you can feel free to like and subscribe to and check out more of our reviews here on our channel. And you can also check us out at filmfreaks.com. And we'll be seeing you in our spoiler discussion coming up. We'll see you later. Later.